Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the RC Genius, and today I am doing a pretty fun video. We're going to be seeing how much weight a two-wheel drive monster truck can handle, and we're going to be putting a stress test on a brushless motor, or brushed motor, sorry, not brushless, uh, brushed motor. I've got the Titan 12 turn 550 motor on the truck, and uh, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to do some pulling. I have a, a little box top. Uh, here on the ground uh, held by some string and uh, I've got some logs that I'm going to put on top of the the box top and probably have about 15 pounds worth of uh, logs and uh, basically on Memorial Day I was pulling uh, a little cart around uh, the yard with this and uh, doing a little bit of a pulling uh, kind of thing but I was not filming at all and afterwards I really put a number on that motor and uh, it's just really it's really beat up right now uh, I don't know if the slipper clutch is bad or not I don't think it is because the truck still works perfectly fine and it doesn't seem like it's slipping at all um, however we're going to put this motor uh, through one last drive and uh, we're gonna hope and see that we can destroy this motor I do have, uh, for safety purposes, the motor will get very hot and uh, definitely will smoke and possibly could create it, um, uh, could catch on fire. I don't know. However, I do have uh, a little uh, bleach sprayer um, pump, like you pump the air, and uh, it's got water in it. So if anything happens, uh, we can safely uh, extinguish any heat that could produce a fire, um, but for that purpose, I'm going to say, please don't try this at home. Um, I'm doing this for demonstration and entertainment purposes, and uh, uh, please, uh, if you were to do this, do this at your own risk. Um, and another thing that's making this um, video possible is that it's wet outside, and so I do not have to worry about anything uh, catching a spark if it were to. Um, it didn't rain that much, but it rained enough that the grass is quite uh, damp and nothing should happen. But I think we'll try it in the street and uh, hopefully the t uh, uh, box top won't make too much noise in the street. But I'm going to set the camera up in a way that we can see it and uh, we'll get started. Alright guys, I've got about 5 pounds of uh, a 5 pound log on there. It doesn't look too big, but it probably weighs about 5 pounds. And um, we're going to see if it can pull it. I think it will. Um, but when I put this other big one on, I don't think it's going to be as easy. So let's give it a try. And it just slid right off. However, the question is, did it pull five pounds? Yes, it did. Let me put it back on and put the other. Okay, guys, so I was just about to start pulling with uh, my little string here, and it broke. So now I use some little zip ties, and hopefully that will solve or issue. Alright guys, let's try and see if this will work and hopefully the zip ties don't snap. I have left the camera view. It's, here we go. So it hasn't really gotten that much uh, stress on the motor yet. Let me put the log back on. This is about a 10 pound log. So um, I'm going to put this one back on, drive a little bit more, and then we'll maybe put both on and try and pull it. Alright, let's try it. Alright guys, so the motor was smoking, um, it was doing what I wanted it to do, which I'm not trying to break my vehicle, I'm trying to stress test it, and so far it is working. Um, so we're going to go a little bit again and we're going to try and see if you guys can see the smoke. It was a, 
it was quite a bit of smoke actually. Suspension, the in, those integer shocks working quite a bit. And you can kind of see a little bit of smoke there. Alrighty, we're going to try one more time and we're going to try and see if we can get to see the smoke here. Move the camera down right here. You can hear the motor struggling a little bit. I don't know if you can. That thing is cooking. That motor is definitely done. Can you guys see that smoke? I hope you can. Cool it down just a little bit. There's the smoke. If I spray a little bit of water on it, you can see it. Let's go again. What I'm doing is I'm just holding the throttle just enough so that way uh, it can kind of go a little bit. Okay, there's the, th the, th the full throttle right there, and the motor just gave up. So the motor... That's how you can get rid of a uh, Titan 12 turn motor. I think it just pretty much went. It's very hot right now. You can kind of see the steam coming off of it. I have no idea how old that motor is, but it's really old. Let's actually try and turn it off. I think the ESC might have cut it off. I don't know. Let me try and fire it back up and see if it'll turn on again. Yes, it will still work. The ESC shut it off because it wasn't going anywhere. So huge thumbs up to Traxxas for putting in that feature, I believe. Um, we're going to keep going. We're going to see how much we can torture this motor. You can kind of see some sparks in there. Make sure this camera's in focus. Feels pretty cool now. Not too cool, but it's definitely cool enough. I'm gonna cool down the ESC a little bit. Maybe we'll give it one more try. ESC is nice and cool now. I think everything just really needs to cool down a little bit. I'm pumping my uh, I'm pumping my little water sprayer here. Okay, let's try it one more time. Motor instantly starts smoking again. Sizzling. You can hear the sizzling of the water. You guys probably can't, but it is. Now the, the car is doing a little bit of a wheelie. There it's going. Slowly giving it some more gas. Okay, the ESC just started blinking. You can see the light of the ESC blinking there. And there it went. And I can hear that thing sizzling. Alright, let's blow it out. Wow, guys, that's impressive that uh, the ESC actually stands in there, so that way it doesn't overheat and break the ESC. I'm very impressed by that. It's just spinning just a little bit, but nothing to make the vehicle move. I think that this motor has done its, its time. Gonna cool it off a little bit. And uh yeah, I think that's gonna be it for that motor. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Um this video is kind of just for demonstration purposes of uh and entertainment um for basically what uh a old motor looks like underneath a lot of pressure um and not being able to move. Uh basically we just we completely burned out this motor. 
Um, so yeah, so thanks everyone for watching. My next video, uh, if it's not the Tamiya RC car upgrade video with the shocks, it'll probably be putting um, uh, a new motor in that vehicle, and then I will do a how to break in a brushed motor video, which my method is much different than other people, I know that for a fact. Um, so yeah, so thank you everyone for watching, please like and subscribe, we're almost at 60 subscribers, I'd like to do something special for 60 subscribers, if you guys have any ideas of, uh, what I should do, please leave it down in the comments, and, uh, I'll take everyone's comment into consideration, um, so yeah, so I'll see you guys next time, uh, on the RC Genius, and, uh, yeah, see you then.